What's up subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, as requested, we're going to take a look at innovative industrial properties trading under the ticker IIPR. We'll be discussing the business model, reviewing the financials, taking a look at the stock chart, and also talking about my price predictions. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you get notifications about our future videos talking about the stock market and personal finances. And while you're down there, be sure to check out the links in the description to get your free shares of stock from Robinhood and Webull if you have it already. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. Founded in 2016 and headquartered in San Diego, California, Innovative Industrial Properties is a real estate investment trust, also known as a REIT, that is focused on the acquisition, ownership, and management of specialized industrial properties that are leased to state licensed operators for their regulated state licensed cannabis facilities. The company partners with medical use cannabis operators and serves as a source of capital by acquiring and leasing back their real estate assets in addition to offering other real estate based capital solutions. Innovative Industrial Properties is a one of a kind company. Currently, they're the only real estate investment trust involved in the medical cannabis industry that is being traded on the New York Stock Exchange. With a growing portfolio of properties and a well-experienced management team, Innovative Industrial Properties has been seeing enormous growth recently. Medical cannabis is a growing industry that continues to increase every single year, and Innovative Industrial Properties is certainly carving out a strong niche in this industry. With essentially 100% of their properties leased, Innovative Industrial Properties also has an extremely strong balance sheet. Taking a look at their most recent quarterly report, Innovative Industrial Properties is doing quite well financially, with their total assets far exceeding their total liabilities, and they even have a decent amount of cash and cash equivalents sitting on the balance sheet as well, in the sum of $161,000 and they continue to see a nice growth in their net income as well, up about $13 million quarter over quarter. And since inception as a company, we have seen spectacular growth year over year in not only their net income, but their FFO as well. Since they're a real estate investment trust, IIPR is required to distribute at least 90% of their taxable income to their shareholders annually in the form of dividends. And since becoming a company, IIPR has been able to grow their quarterly dividend quite nicely as well, with their most recent dividend in Q3 of 2020 being declared at $1.17 per share. But it should be noted that this dividend came from an FFO of $1.28 per share. And in terms of the stock price, IIPR has seen some amazing growth over this past year. At the time that I'm recording this video, it's currently trading for around $189 per share and is up around 375% from its 52-week lows. But in terms of recent movement for the share price, we haven't really seen too much. Over the last five trading days, we have essentially seen the share price stay flat, trading between $180 to $190 per share. With IIPR's next quarterly report still over a month away, tentatively scheduled for February the 24th, I personally wouldn't be surprised if we continue to see IIPR share price trade between a range similar to this while investors wait to see those quarterly numbers. Unless we get some big news that comes out before then that serves as a catalyst to help propel the share price higher. So what are my thoughts about innovative industrial properties as a long-term investment? Honestly, I gotta say, I really like what I'm seeing so far. As a business, Innovative Industrial Properties has really impressed me. I love the growth that this company has been able to achieve over these past few years. Their balance sheet is exceptional. And on top of all of that, I love the dividend money that they're able to return to their investors. REITs in general are one of my favorite asset classes. And I hold multiple different REITs within my Roth IRA so that I'm able to reinvest that dividend money tax-free and build up my portfolio over time. So IIPR definitely sounds intriguing and is a REIT that I would consider adding to my portfolio. In addition to all of the positive aspects of IIPR's business that we just spent some time talking about, I personally believe that the Michael Jackson industry as a whole has a ton of growth ahead of it here in the United States. Each year, we continue to see recreational and medicinal use grow on a state level. And now we have seen the Moore Act pass in the House of Representatives and currently awaiting a vote in the U.S. Senate. While we don't know when a vote on the Moore Act is going to come in the Senate, in my personal opinion, when it ultimately does, 
I think that there is going to be a high likelihood that it passes, puns intended. With both the House of Representatives and the Senate now with a Democratic majority and the ongoing economic turmoil that our country is facing due to the pandemic, I personally think that it will be a no-brainer that the Senate passes the Moore Act. Decriminalization and ultimately legalization on a federal level could mean a ton of tax revenue for our government. The pandemic has caused our government to have to increase our national debt substantially through all of the stimulus packages. So in my personal opinion, passing the Moore Act and moving closer toward federal legalization is one easy solution for our government to increase tax revenue and ultimately pay off some of that debt. Depending on when you're watching this video, Joe Biden may have already been inaugurated into office, and he's made it well known that his number one priority whenever he first takes office is going to be the third stimulus package. In addition to that, with the impeachment process ongoing in Congress following the D.C. riots, I personally believe that the Moore Act is still going to take the back burner for quite some time. But with all of that being said, once it finally sees its day in the Senate, I believe that this could be a huge catalyst to not only IIPR, but to the entire industry as a whole. I personally have not yet purchased any shares of Innovative Industrial Properties, but this is definitely a company that I'm very intrigued by. I'm going to be continuing to do some research about this company and also watching the share price to see if we can get any short-term pullbacks so that I could buy at a discount. What are your thoughts about Innovative Industrial Properties? Is this a company that you're invested in? Are you considering buying some shares of this company? Where do you see the share price going in both the short term and the long term? Do you think that there are other companies that are a better opportunity right now than innovative industrial properties? Be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, if there are any other stocks or topics that you would like me to talk about in a future video, please feel free to comment that down below as well. And if you're interested, check out this video about another cannabis company that I think could potentially have a ton of potential in the future, Medicine Man, a company that's headquartered in Colorado. I'll leave a link to that video at the top of the screen right now, as well as as a pinned comment down in the description. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.